Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how to create scenario in Excel queue and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and we will see how to create a scenario and how to run a scenario in Excel queue. And before I begin uh, with step number one, we have already seen scenario in a, in a very basic way in the earlier session. Uh, just to recall and recap, scenario is the actual use case or the test case of your application and it is formed using a collection or series of actions. So in this scenario we will have multiple steps and every step will be an action. So if I go to Excel queue, uh, so this is step number one, log into Excel queue and then we will create a new scenario. So I have already logged in and if I go to navigator and scenarios we have a screen here from where I can create a new scenario or I can just go to this plus button here and select scenario and this will bring the new scenario window. So I will say step number two is click on the plus icon and select scenario and step number three is provide scenario name and other details. Now in this scenario I am going to test a successful login and logout from QBank application. So if I go to QBank application this is the URL. I will also make this URL available in the notes and all these notes will be available to you. So this is the URL and this is the username john.todd and password is pass123 and here I will do a login so I will add the username and password and sign in and then I will click on logout and this is the scenario I am going to create so in Excel queue I will name this is a validate successful login this is the scenario name you can give a description and tags which are optional I will say save and continue and here I will start adding the steps so I will click on add steps and it will take me to this window where I have to start with a context and we will always start with a context which is an entry point. So in the context session we have already seen how we can create a context and how we can make it as an entry point context and we had made our login page as an entry point and therefore we have we will start with this entry point context and then I will go and select the action login to QBank it is already giving me this option login to QBank. This is the action we have created in the earlier session and then this action takes to takes me to account summary page and therefore it is showing me this option account summary page and the action available is log out from QBank. Again this is what we created in the actions session. So I have added all these steps and my scenario is complete. I will click on save and this is how my scenario looks like. So here step number four is add steps or I can say actions and then step number five will be go to navigator scenarios and check the scenario is displayed or present there. So if you now go to the navigator and go to scenarios you will see your scenario is here. Also if you see here it says one test case and that is because we have hard coded the values and therefore we have a single test case. So if you go to any of the actions we have these parameters like username and password and as of now I have hard coded these. In case I do data driven testing I can get these values from an external uh, data source and then we can have multiple test cases but as of now we have a single test case. So here 
if I go to navigator and scenario I can see my scenario also at this point if you go to the universe you will see the universe building up and here we have our context we have the login page context and the account summary page context and here for this particular scenario validate successful login it takes me from login page to account summary page that is the login to QBank action so these lines represent action and you can see here login to QBank and then this logout action takes from the account summary page to the login page and here you can see the scenario the context and the actions so now you will see the universe building up I will go back to my scenario and here is the scenario also if you notice the first step is always a initialization step I will also mention this here scenario starts with an initialize step and this is to start with a browser and a URL and initialize is an action again which is present by default for all entry point context so you will find every scenario starting with this initialize action which will be created using the entry point context so now our scenario is ready I can go to this run button and run the scenario or I can also go to this run button for now I will just click here run and it will take me to this run window now here uh, if you have a pre-configured execution agent you will see something like what I am seeing here a windows agent and it will run on a windows chrome browser otherwise if you do not have this you can watch the session on how to set up the execution agent you can also make your local system as an execution agent so you can watch that and here for me it is already showing this environment so I will click on run and it will start execution here it is saying it is under progress I can click here to track the progress and this is the setup is going on and here I can see all the environment details so it is running on a Windows system on a Chrome browser and here I will also see the summary of execution so here I will say step number six is run the scenario and step number seven will be verify results and you can also download reports and email reports I will show you how to do that so now you can see it is done and you can see all the steps or actions here also if you see here in the actions we are getting these links for the objects so if I click here it shows me the object used and I can see the screenshot or go to action so if I click here and I can say screenshot and it will show me the screenshot here or go to action it will take me to that action so let me go back to results we also can go to results from this section and I will go back here and here I have all these options I can go to the screenshot so screenshots are building up I can actually also go to this icon to see all the images so if I go here you can see it shows me all the images and here I we have the action the step the context everything is here I can hide it and I can also navigate like this from here and also we can download these images and then we have the option to rerun here and then here we have these three dots if I click here we can export as PDF export Excel email report or delete report so if I say export PDF it downloads the PDF report and you can see the PDF report like this and then we have the option to email report I will click email report and give a email account and say send and this will send the email so if I go to my email and check here 
yes I have got an email here and it shows me all the details and summary if I click on this link it will take me back to Excel queue where I can see the detailed report so this is how you can run and check the report and this is how you can create a scenario now also we can create a scenario on the fly and then we can add uh, actions and context on the fly we will see that later also we will see how we can do data driven testing in later episodes so this is how we can create a very basic scenario i hope this session was very useful for you thanks a lot for watching